what makes transfiguration unique? I allow the spiritual heritage, the people, because it's the people that I came to serve. And one of the things I love about transfiguration is I always have is that you've always been a faith community that is so loving and always reached out to everyone. Uh, I think maybe my special memory is some of the activities that we used to have around the uh, Fort, Lent, or Fort Lent during Mardi Gras and uh, it reminds me of some of the experiences I had in when I would go visit Louisiana, uh, Opelousas in uh, New Orleans where my uh, parents and uh, my mother is from. Well I got, because we have such a long history, um, we got married here. I baptized, in 1968, I got married. I baptized my first child here. And, um, well, since my husband's passed, so he's been gone about seven years. But he went to school here. He attended Transfix Elementary School. And we, we just always came back, no matter where we moved to and lived, we would always come back and attend Mass from time to time. I started here when I was five years old. Um, we attended church and I attended the school. Um, I got married here. Um, my husband became Catholic while we were um, attending here. I had both of my children baptized here as well. And uh, the three of us graduated from Transfiguration Elementary School. I do like when we had our um, picnics at the park. Um, that was very nice. Um, just the togetherness that um, they try to build within the church and the community. Being a member of Transfiguration for over 60 years, um, I keep coming back because I love this church. I grew up in this church. I was in my early, early 20s, a new mom, and uh, my uh, children were baptized here as babies, and now they're in their 50s and 60s. I have a story to share about Transfiguration. On May 1st, 1976, I got married at Transfiguration Catholic Church. And I have this beautiful photo of it. The memory that I have with Transfig is that we have so much love here. Um, and it's, it's a people church, you know, that like to gather and have fun. And our biggest event here is our fish fry. I remember when um, my daughter was in a little car accident and how the parish rallied around us and uh, how supportive the pastor at the time was and uh, the membership. It was just amazing. And um, so I, I, I think that once again, because I was a part of giving, they certainly um, you know, gave back to me. And, and that's, that's one of the things that uh, will, will resonate in my life forever is how good they were to us when we needed them as a parish. Special memory is, of course, graduating eighth grade here. Um, being with the, the same friends, the same classmates from kindergarten to eighth grade, that continuity, that family, and then also being educated by the nuns here. The nuns really instilled a strong value of discipline, education, and camaraderie that's helped me to this day in life. Family was great in transfiguration. We used to come here like every birthday or whatever anniversary we have. And like if they have like breakfast or whatever, we all go sit and eat and talk. And we always have a family together with here at Champagne. It's always the picnic. That's a special for Transfiguration. It's very unique. Um, you know, it's a gathering of when you really see the tightening of the community uh, during the picnic. During the pandemic, uh, I had a grandson. I'm a senior grandmother at 75. My daughter is a senior mother who birthed at the age 50. And so we were able to get our grandson. He was a miracle child baptized. And that was through uh, uh, Deacon Greg facilitated us to get a Probably one of my fondest memories, I think, are the, are the summer picnics that we would have and at Kennecom Park. I mean, it was just awesome that every year the church would have a different themes, and some themes would be Hawaiian or uh, Caribbean, and it was awesome just, just to see the, uh, the breadth of, of culture we have here within our parish and to see how it was expressed and can be expressed in some of the events we have, especially with the annual church picnic. 
the memories I cherish are the ones of our friends at the, uh, at the church picnic. The fun and games and the being together and the working together and the teamwork. Those are my favorite memories that we, we all could be together. Um, special memory, uh, lots of memories. I did catechism here, so I have first, I did almost all of my sacraments here except for baptism. So, First Holy Communion, I remember going to confirmation. Um, getting married here, then having my children baptized here, and then they'll be doing their first little communion. So a lot of great memories. Well, when I moved over here uh, on Harcourt, uh, the church members have changed. And those people that came from other areas went back over east, west, and so on. And this church became a church that really represented their community. And um, that's why I appreciate it. Uh, wherever I am, when I travel on, Um, this past year, um, because I just recently retired uh, this year in May of 2023, uh, I was able to fully commit to the Lenten journey, the 40-day experience. And it was amazing to be able to come to the Stations of the Cross, then follow up by the um, fish fry and fellowship with uh, the community members because not only was it just our church, but surrounding churches were fellowshipping in, in the hall. Then we did um, the week, Holy Week, we did Thursday service, Friday, um, Good Friday service. We walked around the entire um, church and then we came back for the Passions, uh, the, the Passions ceremony. And for me, over the years, um, I, I have never been able to fully experience that combination of children, work, um, and just scheduling. So that was really beautiful leading up to then Easter Sunday. It was a really beautiful experience. You mentioned Father Mike and uh, Father Mike was, he was living here, in residence, yeah. but he was LAP, chaplain. LAPD chaplain. LAPD chaplain for many years. And oh, I don't remember exactly how long ago, it's been maybe four or five years ago, uh, he had a special mass for veterans, and I am a veteran of Vietnam era. And it, it you know, it's it was fit, it was even more meaningful for me because uh, this is my home, and it's like being welcomed home again, you know, on, in a very special way. I was lucky enough to be married to the building contractor who did all of the grounds around here. He had a, a crew that worked with him, and I'm sure he did everything in the church, the school, and the hall. He's painted the church inside and out. He's built the carport. He's remodeled the, uh, rec the uh, directory and the convent, as well as the uh, uh, nice St. Peter Clearer room. What is your husband's name? The, my husband's name? Yeah. I'm sorry. No, it's fine. James Martin Sr. And uh, he had a company called j and FM Building Company Incorporated. My family joined Transfiguration in 1964, so we've been here 59 years. And um, this is my husband and my daughter and I. And um, we've been uh, married for, uh, what was it, 67 years. And so, uh, but Transfiguration has just been a wonderful part of our lives. Um, my daughter was baptized here. I have uh, two nieces, they and my daughter graduated from here in 1978. My niece, I have a niece that graduated, which my family sponsored in um, 2018. And then my last niece just graduated um, 2023 from Transfiguration. Well, my mom passed away in uh, 2009, 
I spoke with Father Martini and he did her memorial service because she passed um, during Lenten season. And um, but she was not a member of this parish. And but for me, he said that I could hold since I was a registered parishioner here. And the service and the homily that he did uh, during that time, even though it was modified because of Lenten season, um, it really spoke to the type of person that my mom was. And uh, instead of feeling sad, uh, it made it more of a joyous type occasion and a celebration of her life. Um, what keeps me coming back is the closeness of the parish and uh, I have people that I've grown very close to. Transfiguration as a church is hard to stay away. What keeps me coming back is the wonderful community that we have here. Um, everyone's so loving and, and caring and um, it's a very intimate and um, I think a lot of relationships um, that have been built around here, a lot of history. Um, so and again, just being down the street and getting to just grow up in the neighborhood, I really enjoy being here. So it's been wonderful. No, not at this point. Now it's a, you know I have I built kind of like a family here. People that I know that I've been seeing. I've been serving in the ministries. Um, that's actually what keeps me coming there doing ministry work. What keeps me coming back is the, the friendliness, the, the, the people I've known for quite some time. They know me, if not by name, by face. I've been a member of the choir since 2004, and I've also been a member of St. Vincent de Paul for about 15 years. And the choir, uh, the Transfiguration, uh, 50 plus, been a member since in my 50s. I started attending Transfig in like, I don't know, probably like 89. Uh, yeah, it's been a while. I started here doing CCD and I got my confirmation from here and uh, youth ministry. Then I was in charge of the youth ministry. And that was like early 2000s. My parents. Barbara and Milton Keyes moved into the parish in 1964-65, and we've been here ever since. Yeah, the Transfiguration uh, has really kind of brought me in as a member of the family. I also like that uh, I think churches like Transfiguration are like a beacon of hope in the community, uh, which is, you know, very much needed at this time. Never forget Transfiguration Parish, the, the people I, I just um, I just thank God I had the privilege to be there. And I pray for them, and I certainly hope they pray for me. I've had the honor of working with uh, a lot of uh, great pastors, priests. And uh, I want to, first of all, just to say thank you to all of them that I've had the opportunity to share. Uh, in, in the early years, sometimes it was hard because not everyone approved of what we're doing, but we, they hung in there with me. <laughs> so first of all, I want to say thank you to all, all of them. And uh, I want to congratulate the, our present uh, community and leaders you know, and, uh, for, for doing this for us. And it's very special. Thank you for that. Congratulations on the first 100 years. Happy anniversary, Transfig. Centennials are cool, but our goal is a bicentennial. Keep it going forever and ever. Amen. Congratulations is in place for Transfiguration. Um, it's amazing that the church has been here for a hundred years. I think that's really, really special. Happy anniversary to all the Transfiguration members. It's a hundred years. It's saying a lot. So happy anniversary, Transfiguration. Congratulations, Transfiguration, on your hundred uh, uh, celebration, hundred year celebration. Congratulations to everybody. It's, uh, it's the people who make the church, so it's really a, a celebration of the people here. Happy anniversary, Transfiguration. Happy 100th anniversary, Transfiguration. Okay, it's a pleasure to have been here for all these years and with a beautiful group of people. 
Happy anniversary. Hundred years of being an anniversary for this church. Thank you. Happy anniversary, Transfiguration. I appreciate you. Loved every minute of all the years. Happy anniversary, Transfiguration. I'm so thrilled that we're still around. Happy 100th anniversary, Transfiguration. Joshua 1-9, uh, stay strong and courageous. Happy 100 years to the church family, and we love you guys. It's mind-boggling to wrap your mind around it. That, you know, just to wrap your mind around it. To be celebrating 100 I hope everyone there has a wonderful celebration, enjoys the 100th anniversary, and may it be a launching pad to many, many, many more decades of life in Christ. My message to the people of God, especially in this year that we celebrate 100th anniversary of the parish, is it is a new dawn. Right.